Love Rosari. I am not worthy to be a Hogan. I have failed you. Goodbye! Okay, okay, let's do this. It's been some time. It's been a long time. Go, go, juice, and drop it loads on the hell gases faces. Welcome back, everybody. I am the one and the only J Major in the house, and we are on the DLC map pack, Stall Arms. So, great to be back with everybody on this Monday afternoon. Howdy, sucker! I'm gonna set up a turret here right now. A lot to discuss, everybody, so I'm gonna talk fast because we got a lot of shit to cover. So let's start off with the games of PlayStation 4, which my wife has already ordered me the PS4 because she is the best. And I also got the bundle pack and I got my kills on 4 all set to rock and roll. So fear not, kill, uh, kill zone fans, and fear not, PlayStation 4 fans. Assassin's Creed will be coming out, Gran Turismo, Battlefield 4, Killzone 4, Destiny, and of course, Kingdom Hearts 3. So, let your hearts not be troubled. Everybody watch closely, watch closely. I am repairing a turret. I am doing my job. I get paid by the hour, cause you know this. <laughs> I get paid by the hour and I got a job to do. I am an engineer and that's what I get, that's what I get paid for hourly. 18 bucks an hour, I'm due for a raise like in a month. So everybody, I hope you're all well. Check this shit out. Howdy, sucker! And of course, look, look at look what happens. Reload, one out of ammo. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little trigger happy. All right, so let's stick to the PS4 very briefly. It's going to be an eight gigabytes uh, GDDR5 RAM. It's going to cost three ninety nine. I already got my PS uh, Plus paid for. It's 50 bucks. That's what I've heard around the grapevine. And, uh... See? Look what I'm doing here. I'm repairing the ammo box for my teammates. That's called being a team player. <gasps> Happy birthday, Helgen! Alright, let's talk about the light bar on the controller here. The light bar, it's pretty cool. It's a new feature. Um, if you're swapping controllers with your buddy, it keeps track of who's who and whatnot. It keeps the position. It has a cool touchpad. And I like the built-in speaker it has, everybody. It has a little mini built-in speaker. I, of course, have surround sound. Not sure if you guys do or do not. But um, I'm going to... Oh, look at this. Look at the major. I like to blow things up. An explosion to me is a work of art, ladies and gentlemen. A work of art. Look at that. I'm an engineer. And oh! You took me up, but I'm still gonna blow you up, sucker! Turret kill there! I uh, yes, came back, <laughs> getting back to the built-in speaker. I think it's pretty cool because when you're holding the controller pretty close to you, it'll be kind of interesting to hear what sound effects come out of it. So I think that's a really cool feature there. And of course, we have the share button. So see, doing my job. I just got a raise. Booyah! Making 20 bucks an hour, two dollar raise. I do like the share button because if you want to show somebody a, a really quick clip, you can do that. So I really like the features. Demolition Man in the house! J Major! Go, go, Juice! Is on the loose! I'm telling you, do not mess with the bull of the horns. The go, go, Juice is on my side. Everybody, I watched the trailer and I think it's pretty interesting for Killzone 4 Shadowfall. I want to know who is this mysterious ISA dog player that we are controlling. I want to know who he is. Also, let's talk about this. I still want to know who's coming out of that shuttle. I want to know who is in charge of the hell gas. Who is in charge? We can talk about this. And you guys want to know what's really on my mind? What's really irking me? I mean, hold on, I'm going to repair. I got a job to do. Hold on. There you go. All right, no one in my sights. I really want to know who the bad guys really are. They're trying to be, like, it seems like it's portrayed as... <laughs> Howdy, sucker. I want, it's, it's kind of like portrayed like the ISA dogs are the good guys. I don't think so. I think they're the bad guys. I think it was them that started this war. 
the Hellgas have every right to live. And I'm not sure if you can take uh, uh, Wikipedia, but um, I read very briefly on Wikipedia. You guys can look it up yourself. It's saying that Killzone Shadowfall is supposed to be 30 years after Killzone 3. And I do have a problem with that. That does kind of irk me. It's like, what do you mean 30 years later? And I'm hoping that's just the stupid Wikipedia crap. That's totally false. Because then what 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 happened from Killzone 3 to Killzone 4? 30 years? You got that's a huge gap that you gotta cover. Damn ass sniper. I hate that's one thing I hate is a freaking sniper. They gotta outlaw and ban snipers. <laughs> But I don't know. That just kind of that does kind of irk me. I hope that's not the premise of Killzone 4. I don't want that that huge of a gap. And supposedly everybody, there's they're Helgen refugees that are living on Vetka. Are you seriously? Are you seriously kidding me? No, I do not want that. So yes, if that is what's going to happen, I don't like that concept. They're in a city. That's what it says on Wikipedia. They're in a city. The refugees. And then they start. It's a cold war and they bang heads. It sounds like the United States versus Russia all over again. Eh, don't want that. So, if you guys can look it up. Tell me what you think about that. Oh, looks like we covered it. Hey, everybody. I just want to let you know. Heads up. Uh, I will be starting a Killzone 4 clan when Killzone 4 comes out, so if anyone wants to play with me and, and be part of my clan, please let me know. Um, oh, happy birthday! Double kill, I'll take that. Um, so everybody let me know. Um, me and my wife will be going through the applications to see who wants to join my clan. I have a pretty huge PSN list, that's, which is totally full, and I got some really cool guys, so it would be an honor for me to ask you guys to play with me and be part of my clan. So, I do have some really cool guys, so hopefully they would like to join up with me. And if you guys are interested, please give me a shout out on my uh, YouTube or my Facebook page. Wait, where, where's that guy think he's going? Where does he think he's going? That's right, nowhere. So I had a pretty good weekend. Uh, yesterday I told my wife to take the day off, which is pretty cool, which she did. So me and the kids went swimming at her parents' pool and stuff like that because it was so hot out, everybody. It is humid out here in Connecticut. It's humid out here. So we we did a lot of uh, swimming, did a lot of wrestling, did a lot of kill zone uh, stuff. I'll, I got a, I got some stuff for you guys about the swimming thing, and it's, it is kill zone based. So you guys are going to like that. So I'll be putting those videos up shortly. As long as there's time, there's hope. One minute. So, alright guys, you know what? I'm gonna talk about this. Uh, we might go see that movie World War Z, everybody. Uh, I have not seen the movie Superman, and if anybody has seen the movie Superman, let me know if it was good or not. I heard it was awesome, it was dark. Oh, -ho! J Major! J Major! Oh, I'm all fired up now, baby! Got a little funny story for you. So yesterday I'm hanging out with my father-in-law and he said that, it's pretty funny. He's like, oh, I woke up and I got a cup of, uh, cup of Joe. Look at this, I'm all over the place. <laughs> go, go, juice. So he's telling me that he got a, cu a cup of orange juice and then he got a cup of uh, coffee. And he said he just literally woke up. He takes a half pound of sugar and he dumps it in the, he dumps it in his OJ and he gulped it down. He's like, oh my god, oh my god, it was crazy. So I felt bad for the guy, so I, I kind of made him feel better. I was like, don't worry, I've done worse. And my whole family's looking at me and I'm like, back in the day when I was living with my roommate, I was like, we were completely hung over, like, what else is new? So I wake up and I was so, like, my mouth was so dry. Uh, I had I went to the refrigerator, got something to drink, and I saw the the orange juice uh, was out. So I was like, "Oh, cool! I'll just drink some of that, man." To make a long story short, I didn't realize that my friend took a big pee pee in the OJ. So I did. I grabbed the the, the I grabbed the OJ. I chugged that thing, man. I was like half asleep. I chugged that, swallowed it, took another gulp. 
and my brain finally kicked in from being in a deep slumber like a bear. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, I vomited. I vomited all over the floor. I spit that thing like there was no tomorrow. It was horrible, guys. It was horrible. My whole family's like laughing at me. They're like, you're kidding me. You swallowed your friend's pee pee. I'm like, yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> it's funny to laugh out now, but boy, man, I'm telling you, it wasn't funny back then. So, he was laughing his butt off. He thought that was pretty cool. Look at this, guys. I am all over the game grid. All right, let's see what we got here. I like. I actually do like this uh, DLC map, uh, Stall Arms. I don't play this map a lot, but when I do, it's pretty. It's pretty fun. So I'm glad I'm posting this up for everybody. Something different, a new map. Um, I'm doing pretty good, I think. Not playing this map all, all the time. Like I don't fully know where all the ins and outs on this puppy. So. What else do we got here? I do want to buy that game, The Last of Us, Tomb Raider, and I do have Dead Space 3, so I'll probably be playing a, a little bit of Dead Space 3, everybody. Alright, let's get to it, everybody. I know this is what everybody, what everybody wants me to talk about, so I'll talk about Killzone Shadowfall. I watched the trailer. Um, I think the trailer's pretty cool. The graphics are sick. Um... I know everybody is talking about this. They want a more balanced game. And I went on the, the forum of Killzone. I read a shitload of people's uh, remarks and what they think and what they want. And I'm really not going to get involved in that because it, it's just an argument and I, I don't want that. Because um, what it basically comes down to, my opinion doesn't mean anything. Um, it's all about what you think. Um, I just know as artists, Gorilla Games is making a game and and they're trying to think of new ideas and they're always trying to one-up the next game. So I think in Kills and Shadowfall, there's going to be a lot of new things and you're gonna, either going to love it or you're going to hate it. Um, I think in every game, I don't care what it is, there's always something that you don't like. Okay? Um... Oh, another turret kill. I mean, people are comparing Killzone 2 to Killzone 3. I see so many different ideas and opinions. Uh, I, I, I am a, a Killzone fan, period. I don't care. Whatever Killzone 4 gives me, I'm going to love it. I'm going to play it. I don't care. I'm going to look at the positive things. I, I just don't have time in my life to worry about all the negativity. Oh, my boy AH77ED just joined in. I'm going to have to lay down the smackdown on his candy ass. No, um, my, t my take on it, everybody, about the Shadowfall, the graphics look great, the guns don't have a lot of recoil, I know a lot of people want recoil in a heavier gun, it's all personal preference, everybody, and it's all about adapting, uh, you know, and how, and it's personal preference how, how you want to take it, you know, no one can tell you what to do, and that's one thing I don't like anyone doing to me, don't tell me my reality. If I like something, I like something. I respect your opinion. I want you to respect my opinion. Oh, yeah, Triple H! <laughs> go, go, Juice! is on the loose! Oh, I'm tearing it up. I mean business. I mean business! Now I'm going to set a turret waiting for your ass. Oh! -ho! Booyah! The Boom Shakalaka is in the house! So back to the Shadowfall, yes, I'm going to like Killzone 4 no matter what. I love Killzone 2. I love Killzone 3. And people that look at me like, oh, how can you like that game? I just do. I like Killzone. And it took all of us as game players to make this franchise what it is. Okay? And they're looking at a new audience. And there's not much we can do about it. Gorilla Games is looking not just at their old audience. They're looking at their new audience. And... They're going to probably make changes that we do and do not like, and I hope that we all can come to terms. I will say this, in Killzone 3, I will admit, the tactician was massively overpowered, you know, it had the recon, it had the it had a sentry drone, and it had uh, the rocket launcher. Take away the rocket launcher. You guys, maybe, maybe we should take out recon in Killzone 4. Maybe we should have no recon. 
to make it more balanced and fair. You know, there's so many ideas that I heard people talk about, and we don't know. We just don't know. But I know everybody wants a more balanced game, skill versus skill. You know, some people don't like the turrets and don't like the sentry drones as much as taking, a, taking us out. They want more of a gun-on-gun -gun type game. And I'm okay with that, okay? I like everything. I do like the like the, I do like the turrets. I do like the sentry drones whooping my butt in Kill Zone 3. I like it. I do like how they made the, the shotgun better in Kill Zone 3. I like how they incorporated the Stop 52 a lot more in Kill Zone 3. Is it overpowered with the with the marksman? Yes it is. Because you're close, I can't see you half the time, and you got uh the BC the the BC 39 uh Rifle, which it's one hit, it's a, it's a one-shot kill, and then you can switch over to the stop of the two and whoops some ass. So yeah, they're overpowering. I admit, I admit those two characters were very overpowering. Yes, they gotta they gotta address that matter, okay? And that's gonna be my take about that. I am not getting involved in this kill zone two, kill zone three war because I like kill zone fans in general, and I don't want to offend anybody, and nor do I want anybody offending me. Oh. Triple Seven just got me back. He's like, I just kicked your ass, J Major. <laughs> so let's everybody, let's just hope in the end we all like kills of four and let's just all get, have a good time. I just want to play and have a good time. I'm looking for nothing but a good time. How could I resist? You know that song, everybody. Poison? Poison? Know that song, Poison? Nothing but a good time. That's what I want in Killzone 4. Nothing but a good time. Because you know this, man. All right, everybody. Let's get back to some fun stuff here on the war zone. I got a question for everybody. I want, I'm gonna, I want to ask you guys all a question. Here is the question of the day. What are your favorite movies? Do you guys like comedy, horror, or drama the best? Me, I like horror the, the most. And Evil Dead 2 is probably my favorite movie of all time. Second question. If you if if you like comedians, because everyone likes funny movies and whatnot, does anybody have a favorite comedian? I certainly do, and I'll tell you guys my list of favorite comedians of all time. One, it's Andrew Dice Clay. Two, Richard Pryor. He is the man. Three, Rod Rodney Dangerfield, and four, Sam Kinison. You cannot have him not on your list. Sam Kinison was the man. I like having a good laugh with everybody, and uh, Richard Pryor and all them guys used to make me laugh my ass off, so. That's a few questions out there, because I want everybody to get to know the Jane Major, I want to get to know you guys. I talk to a lot of you cats on my PSN list, and it's really cool to talk to you guys. I feel like I made a, a lot of good friends in the Killzone community and the first person shooter community, so. Um, yeah. All right, back to the war zone here on Stall Arms. It is getting pretty heated here. We're up 4-1. The ISA are really giving it to uh, the Hellgas here. Dropping loads on their faces. Dropping loads. Dropping loads on your face. You guys want to talk about dropping loads, dude. My cat, <laughs> my cat like uh, puked up hairball and stuff like that. She puked up a nasty, nasty hairball. And I wake up, I'm wearing, walking barefooted. I step right in that shit, man. I'm like, what the hell is that on my foot? I felt this, like, I felt like s'mores, you guys. Like marshmallows under my feet or something like that. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yep, I stepped in the cat pukey. And the cat's looking at me like, Meow, meow, can you feed me? And I looked at my cat, I'm like, you want me to feed you? I just stepped in your cat, you, what the heck is going on here? I am J Major, damn it! I am J Major and I just stepped in cat puke. <laughs> oh yeah, I love my cat though. Isn't that right, Sam the Fur? You're a good cat. You guys, my cat has been watching Killzone 2 with me. Since the day it came out and kills all three of me since the day it came out, me and my capadre, the Zen the Fur, been watching kills on! Alright, we're up 5 1. I think we know this is basically a wash here. Pure domination. Alright, capture and hold there. Gotta get, get in the box, J Major! So I hope everyone else had a great weekend. 
I know that game, The Last of Us, is pretty awesome. I definitely have to buy that game and play it. Alright, let's just talk about the war zone for the remainder of the time. And, uh, hope everyone liked my last video of my pancakes. Trust me, guys, I told my wife, I'm like, I wish I could invite all of you Killzone fans, all my Killzoneian fans out there. If it was up to me, I would give you guys free room and board to hang out my house, and we'd have, like, multiple TVs playing Killzone and first-person shooters. I don't care, Black Ops, whatever you guys want to play, I want to play. And I'd be making you guys pancakes all morning. Pancakes and sausage. I'm Jay Major. Why? Because you guys are the best. You guys rock. And I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If I can get a laugh out of you guys, that makes me very happy. I like playing with you guys. You guys are awesome. And I like trying to give you guys the best coverage. I am the Killzone King! And you guys want to know why I'm the Killzone King? I'll tell you why I'm the Killzone King. I love Killzone so much, everybody, that I'm sorry. Uh, yes, my girl is dropped dead hot. She is smoking hot. But when I'm in the war zone, and she wants to, you know, get it on. I'm talking about get it on. I'm sorry. I got to pass. I can't always have sex. I am the Killzone King. I have denied. Until the war zone is done, I got to play. All right, everybody, once again, I am Jay Major, the one and only Jay Major. I hope you're all doing well, everybody. And I'll see you guys all in the next War Zone. Please subscribe and like if you wish. I do my best to give you guys a good War Zone. And uh, you guys try and stay cool. Stay cool out there. It's freaking hotter than hell out here. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the War Zone. You guys rock.